Well, good morning. It is 5.15 a.m. and I am leaving Beverly Hills, heading to Mount Shasta. I am going camping at the beautiful Lake Siskiyou uh, Resort. I have discovered camping. I always wanted to do it. I never had the chance to do it earlier on. So now I am taking full advantage of it. I have my roof tent and I'm off for a solo adventure in the beautiful, majestic and magical world of Mount Shasta. Stay tuned. Hey, where are you going? It's 6 a.m. Good morning from beautiful Mount Shasta, in particular Lake Siskiyou Campground. It is a beautiful campground, it's very extensive, it has 200 campsites, 130 of those are tent campsites, I'm in one of them. And the rest are for all kinds of vehicles and trailers or, you know, sprinter vans, whatever you want to come here with. It has a beautiful lake, there's lots to do here, the beauty is magnificent, and the wildlife is very active. And that is why I'm telling you the story. Last night was my first solo camping experience. I decided on the spur of the moment to head up to beautiful Mount Shasta and to try out my new tent and camp in this beautiful campsite. There is a beautiful lake here and there are many, many, many beautiful pine trees everywhere. The nature is spectacular. The views are incredible. The lake is just crystal clear and there's so much to do here, so many activities. I set up my nice big tent and uh, try to settle in for a nice night. Unfortunately, that did not happen. At about two o'clock in the morning, several bear came down the mountain. I mean several. And I was woken up by some man shrieking, Go on, get out of here, shoot, get! The bear were rattling these metal trash cans to try and access food because they were obviously on a search for food. That got my attention. I woke up right away. I was super alert, like, whoa, bear. It was absolutely terrifying. They sniffed all the way around my tent, really up close, and I stayed absolutely motionless. Literally, I could feel my body going like da, 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 da. I, I didn't want to breathe. I was so afraid. And I've never been afraid like that. I'm lying on the floor in a very thin little tent. I laid absolutely still. These bear did not just go away. They kind of circled around here. I could hear the rustling. They walk very, very tenderly. You would barely know that they were here if they didn't make those noises on the trash cans. This went on throughout this campsite from 2 a.m. to 4.30 in the morning. You could hear them as they go from campsite to campsite down. But they kept coming back to this campsite. I'm not close to a trash can, but I'm fairly close to the trash can. A lot of people were banging pots or screaming or making noises to chase them off. You know, everybody was awake in this campsite, I can tell you that. When I finally thought they were all gone, it was about 4 a.m. I thought, oh, thank God. Okay, I can sleep now. And about a half an hour later, I heard it. What is that? And I could hear a bear extremely close to my tent. As a matter of fact, the bear was so close that he stuck his nose through that little hole there and smelt inside my tent like... <laughs> I could literally hear the moisture on his nostrils. That's how close he was. Well, at that point, I was beside myself and terrified. 
I knew that the next thing would probably be a paw coming through this very thin nylon tent. And so I picked up one of my table things I have and I had a box in here and I hit it really hard and I screamed really loud. It reverberated through this canyon, through this campground because of a very big loud Simdel type scream. Trust me, it was a scream for my life. I think if I didn't do that, who knows what would have happened. Luckily, thank God, I'm still here and everything's fine. So needless to say, I haven't slept a wink. So here is the reason I'm making this video. You really gotta be aware of a bear situation here. This place seriously has a bear problem. And it's not the bears that are the problems, it's the humans. I love animals. I've never wanted to hurt a bear or any animal. The reason these bears come down here is because people leave food out. Even a small little piece of food. If you're gonna come camp here at Lake Siskiyou in Mount Shasta, I highly recommend two things. If you're gonna do a tent, come in a big group. Don't come alone like me. Camp far away from any trash cans. And I'm pretty far, I'm gonna show you how far away I am from the trash cans. Preferably come in a caravan, something like a sprinter van or proper, you know, motorhome. Then you know the bear's not gonna get you. Because last night, I think, if I didn't make that loud noise and bang the box I had in this tent, who knows what would have happened. I just spoke with one of the guys who work here clean up the sites and he says just a little bit down from me they overturned two dumpsters and threw it against a tree so there were a whole lot of bear here Yeah, I'm very, 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 very lucky. I thank you, God, for saving me, I swear. It was very scary, very scary. Enjoy camp and be aware.